All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Wembley Cup 2017 with EE. Today, we are going to see the final additions made to the F2 Techers Town squad as they try to build a super team to take on my hashtag United lads at Wembley Stadium. The big final is Saturday, 7th of October. You can still get some tickets and be there in the flesh to watch what is going to be the biggest game in YouTube history. Click the i button up here for more ticket information or check out the links in the description. £2 from every ticket purchased go towards sport relief, which is fantastic. Now, last episode, we saw two big additions to Tech Town. We saw Joe Weller of the YouTube fame joining the lineup, and we saw the big man himself, Emil Heskey, boost their squad as another legend. And it's not just squads getting boosted. You can too. As an EE pay as you go customer, you can power up your pay as you go with a free boost of data every month. The longer you stay, the more you get. Get involved, guys. Click the i button or the links in the description for more details on that EE offer. Now then, let's move on with the episode and find out what the Techers Town lineup is going to look like at Wembley. And welcome to a very emotional studio where we're all saving the tears, bringing them back for the Wembley Cup final in just a couple of days' time. Final, final episode in the studio before we all head down to Wembley itself and take part in what is going to be a historic YouTube match. On this side, the F2 from Techers Town. Good to have you guys. Competitors on the other side, hashtag United. Oh, Charlie nice Morning, Jack oh, 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 Same time. This episode is all about, and this is something that's quite interesting natural team play. Yes. Spencer, your team surely is the one that has the strengths here. Well, yeah, I mean, we played together more as a team unit for sure. So uh, we know each other quite well. Yeah. Um, We've obviously got certain players got different limitations of what we can physically do on the pitch, but we know that as well. You know, you know what someone can and can't do, it helps hopefully make the right decisions on game day. Well, this one's all about teamwork, but you've got some new faces coming in for this super test. We have. We've got Tobe Jizzle and Harry. Wow, some two great names yeah. there. That you make great additions to any team, but you've also got some other names alongside that as well. We have. We've got Poet, we've got Vooj, Hugh Wizzy, Josh Peters, Reeve and Elliot Crawford. Wow, so you guys could potentially compete a great starting eleven here. We've got a lot of strengths, and I think one key strength that these guys might be underestimating mm. is the fan support. Think of wow. all the millions of supporters that our team's got combined. On the day, that could count as an extra man. Mm. That's a very good point. I mean, are you guys a little bit worried about the support that these guys are no. going to bring? Don't discount no. the hashtaggers. Yeah, you're forgetting of the power yeah. of people that don't forget to hashtag it. It's an amazing thing, mate. It's magical. Well, this super test is all about gelling together. So let's see how our YouTubers do this time. This is Wembley Cup take on Wembley doubles. YouTubers are partnered up from previous challenges to take part in a five-minute match where they've got to try and score in the lit-up goals. The two teams at the end of the match with the most points wins, and they take up the remaining four spaces in a Techers Town starting 11. Let's play ball. All right, and chaps, this challenge is all about having natural team play and good chemistry on the pitch. How are you guys feeling? Insecure, single, but I'm ready for the task in hand. I love you. I just want my dad to say he loves me in this lifetime. Me, me and Crawford are finished, I think. Me and Reeve have been training twice a week for the last six months, so we're ready, baby. He's there ready. We're just hoping for the best, aren't we, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> Fair play. Interesting. Well, you're going to have Jacko from Hashtag throwing the balls in and serving them. You've got Charlie Morley on light duty. I'm going to be refing, so don't get on my back or you will go in the book. All right, lads? Yes. Right then, lads. Do it. Get it. Oh, Insecurity! Yeah. Insecurity! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Oh, straight out. New ball, new ball! What the hell have got that out there? Are they going in? Oh, it's the wrong goal! That's a point off! That's a point off! Minus one! Minus one! Here we go. No. Ah, Josh wins again. Oh! oh it's it's back back heel. Road to Sean. Road to Sean. Oh my gosh. Yes! The Vujanic goal! 
That was Vooj, that was Vooj. Harry's got it. Harry, that's a smart play. That's a smart play, mate. He, he sussed it, yeah. He, he sussed what to do. That's exa exactly oh, what happened. He sussed it. Defend the goal. Defend the goal. Defend the goal. Oh, Get a Soft target. Oh, Blue ball. Chance. Straight in. Free head. Oh, this is the second throw. Oh, this is good. Lads, we've got a bit of a team, you know. Oh, it's Spence, you're seeing the nice. quality out there. How's it go? Boog is on fire! Yes, get it coming, brother! <laughs> oh, it's Spence, you're seeing this quality we got. Decent. Oh, uh, mate. you got two minutes left, two minutes left. Get your top right. It's a yellow card. I'm too Can't take your top no, off. Yellow card, don't make me make it a red. Spence. Come on, Spence. You ain't always got to be the line, right, mate? Oh, he's on a hat trick. Oh my gosh, that is. <laughs> do you know what oh, I would do? Tackle. I would keep ball and I wouldn't go for the goals lit up, I'd wait for the change. Oh! oh, oh he's 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 him. That's 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 tactics, goal. mate. Tactics. Stay in front of the goal and get a touch. You see that goal light up? You get over to the goal. We'll play on. Oh, oh my god, god. the hatch is on fire! Vooch <laughs> is on fire! The hatch is on fire! Oh, take us! Take us! Take us! Take us! Take us! Oh, we've got it again! Stay <laughs> really? I can't believe it. Oh, it's a good one! 30 seconds left! Oh, no! Go back in, we're back in, we're back in, we're back in! Let's go! Oh, he's well blocked, well yeah. stopped. Yeah. Oh, that's it, Reed. Well done, Reed. That's it, Reed. Right, last ball! Oh, he's gone for it. Come through! Oh, no! <laughs> We're, We're going in. all the way, <laughs> all the way to Wembley. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wembley. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Wembley. Um, if that don't get you in, I don't know what does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible, and that means that your starting 11 is complete. It does, it does. I mean, they were unexpected winners, I'm not going to lie, yeah. but I think we would have been happy with whoever won that challenge. We, we're pretty happy with the selection now, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, Poet and Vooj, you never know what they're going to do. And I mean, just by that, that challenge there, Vooj popped up and scored a hat-trick. Mm. I mean, Bookish wouldn't even give you odds on that. No. no. Roach, Short and Elliot as well, of course, two great additions to the team. And they're also the kind of guys that you can fit into a number of positions as well. Yeah, well, this is it. I mean, me and Bill were looking for more than just the winners there. We were looking for different attributes, and we noticed Josh, he won nearly every header. Yeah. Uh, Rota Shaw was the first to figure out the correct game plan. Yes. Um, he was, he showed some good feet. Yeah. Um, Elliot, of course. Reeve is, looks, yeah. Reeve looks strong and good. We, yeah. like, we like the look of Reeve. Yeah. Um, who else? Tobe Gizzle, we know he's got good feet. Yeah. yeah. Elliot as well. I think Elliot always deserves a bit of a mention. Elliot. He's one of those physical guys. Elliot was first to the ball a couple of times, wasn't he? He was, he was. So we saw things in that. Even, they, even for the teams that didn't win, we saw elements of skill, skill elements that we can use in the game. Pretty surprised in that, not going to lie. Um, part of Vianic, good players, but I thought on paper, the likes of Toby and, and, and Josh Peters would win that. But it was, it was a difficult one. Mm. You know, so many bodies everywhere. You're never going to actually have, have that much tight space packed with that many players on a, on a real life football game. So mm. it's a difficult one. But yeah, you've got your starting 11, and we, we know what we're dealing with. We know what we're up against. Of course, commiserations to Hugh Wizzy, Reeve, Josh Peters, and Tobe Jizzle. All you guys make it onto the bench for Tekkers Town. But let's see that starting 11.
Now for the final time in this series, let's bring on the boost. You guys are in the Last Chance Saloon and that's why your super fan is so important this week. Hugely important. This yeah. is a big challenge for us. It's going to be the most important challenge in the series because if we don't win it, these guys are in the driving seat in terms of legends and in terms of who they choose to play for them. So we really want to win it. Two of the guys who won the competition got injured. Yeah. So we've had to bring in some people. We have. And that has almost played in your favour a little bit, hasn't it? Well, I mean, it works for both of us. We've had to call some guys back. And, yeah. and I'm calling back someone that I rate a lot. I think he was unlucky not to win a challenge for us and it was a huge challenge for us not to win, which was the Stevie G challenge. Yeah. So I'm hoping picking him now is going to get a bit of a redemption. Daniel Adji, <laughs> welcome back. Ash Meister General adjusts. Oh, 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 Who are you guys bringing in to face up against him? Well, our guy has a 100% win ratio. He wow. has never made a single mistake yet in the challenges. We're bringing back Tom Nolan. Whoa! <laughs> Revenge on the card. Yeah. Well, let's see the final legend for this series. This is a big one. The crowd know his name, you guys both know his name as well. I'm not going to lie, this is a huge one for me. I'm a big Rio Ferdinand fan. Uh, he's a West Ham boy originally. He's synonymous with, with my childhood, really, in football growing up, and I'd love to play alongside him. And we need him. Let's face it, we need him. They've, they've got the, some decent legends already. Of course, you guys could also make it difficult for them by winning Rio, and then you guys get the choice, because that puts you in a really strong position. If we manage to bag him, he'll definitely be one legend that we keep 100%. And of course, it's time for us to flip a coin and find out who gets to go first in this one, because this is a bit of an unusual challenge. Can you do a proper flip this time, please. Your flips have been tantamount to vandalism. I need, I need wow, to OK. Do you, do you mind if Spencer flips for the final time in this series? No, I'm, I'm happy Spencer. for a new yeah, to do it. OK, fair but enough. But just do it properly. Hashtag. I mean, uh, I did go? call it, didn't I? I did call it. What is it? Got to stay on the course table. Of course, is it yellow again? Of course it's, it's yellow. a joke every time. I've got to stay on the table. Yellow. So, how are you going to play this one? Okay. Uh, I'll say go seconds. We can see their technique and we can... Bad choice. You know what I mean? So let's take our positions and see who's actually going to win Rio Ferdinand. Come on, boys! Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Yeah. Welcome to the Boost Challenge Zone. This is three-legged penalties. Gentlemen, are you comfortable? Not no, really. Yeah. No, it's, it's lovely, it's lovely. Good. There are a few rules for this one, but they're very, very simple. You must strike the ball with your shared leg. You only get one shot, and that means one touch. Anything outside of that means it won't be a goal. Come on, boys. Come on, Tom. Come on, Jezza. Three, two, one, go. Yes, that's in. Come that's on. That's a goal. Oh, easy. Easy. Good start. And this one match. Ooh, yeah. It's a goal. Oh, what a strike. Oh. Top in. No games played here. Well struck. Get in. Will it get go in? in? No. Please no, get in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Get over. Get over. How has that not gone in? That one stopped just on the line. That one's gone oh, wide. Match them up. Oh, this one. Here you go. What can they do here? This one's for Rio Ferdinand. Will in. this one go in? It's for you, Rio. It's clearly a goal. It's in. Oh, yeah. Come on! Come on, Tom, we've got to get this one. Come on. Can they get it? Is that it? That's it! Yeah. That's yeah. Rio Ferdinand yeah. for Hashtag United. Yeah. Unlucky, yeah. boys. The final piece of the puzzle, the final piece of the puzzle, of course, is Rio Ferdinand for you guys. That must have felt so satisfying, Spencer. Rio Ferdinand is a great addition. I actually forgot to add earlier, obviously Jack and I are West Ham fans, but Charlie's a Man United fan, so Rio Ferdinand is literally the perfect player. Game changer. Yeah. Does that worry you guys a little bit, that you've now got a legendary defender coming up against you? I can see a massive Rio versus Heskey battle going on. I like that, yeah, that is tasty. Yeah. Fairly even, you'd say, and Rio Ferdinand is the final piece in your puzzle. So Spencer, show us your starting 11, and and of course, the way the squad shapes up. Don't mind if I do. Right, let's do it. Okay. So, Rio is obviously a legend. Available now. Uh, they can't start the game. They'll boost. So Rio, Savage, and Fowler can get involved as and when we need them. Looking at a 4-4-2 formation here right now. Again, this is subject to change, but could potentially see myself at left back, where I've been playing a lot recently in games. Midfield. My brother Seb played in the Wembley Cup last year. Got himself a goal. Hoping to do similar things in this team. Charlie Morley on the right-hand side of midfield uh, can play a number of different positions and expect him to be dangerous. And again, a really solid partnership we have at the top 
of the pitch. Uh, Ryan Adams and Dan Brown, two top goal scorers in hashtag history. So that's what we're looking at. But we've got some serious options on the bench, guys. Not even talking about the legends of the goalkeeper. We've got Jimmy Conrad, who, let's face it, could come in anywhere in this back four. We can see Robbie Fowler coming in that role, perhaps behind the striker. We can see Savage come on in the middle, do some of that running for us. Scotty P, of course, Rio Ferdinand can come in anywhere in here, could come in for Rich Beck, for example. This team looks decent. Jacko can get involved. So the good thing about my squad is I could change any of these players in any position. I don't feel like we're any weaker. Well, thank you very much, Spencer. That's quite the imposing squad. You go take a seat as, uh, as Billy, you've got quite the team to take us through here as well. Let's start out, though, with a little bit of news about your own fitness, because this is not a decision that you've taken lightly, but it's something that you've been forced to do. Yeah, it was always going to be a doubt whether I could make it back um, for this Wembley Cup match. Obviously, captain the side was of such importance to us, so I, I'd done my best to, be, to, to come back and be fit for it. But I had a medical yesterday morning and the doctor said my cartilage and my labrum in my hip isn't fully healed. And if I play, it could end up being a career threatening injury should it go again. Okay. So it, he's basically ruled out me, even sitting on the bench. So I've, um, I'm totally out of the game. I'm devastated about it. However, on a positive note, we've brought someone in who's got great football ability. He's a football YouTuber, incredible at skills, panners especially. Um, plays slightly a different position to me, but I think he's going to be a great, great addition to this team, and it is. Sion Garnier. Wow, that's actually a massive addition to the team as well. A lot of people know him at home already. He's won the Wembley Cup before. He, he, he controlled the game quite well. Um, as I say, different position from me, but that's, a, that's okay. We've got enough attacking players yeah. that can score goals. I'm going to be on the sidelines and I'm going to be dictating to the guys, helping them, um, trying to motivate them on and um, yeah, see if I can get the best out of them. And we've got this in the locker. Ready, Lawrence? We've got this. Like, if I just do a couple of changes and just show you what the side could look like yeah. um, when the legends are on board. He's sitting there, and then you say you put Weller maybe out there. You got. I'm going to put some big guys at the back there. Are you putting Emil in? Are you putting. I mean, that yeah, is a yeah. pretty imposing front two, though, That's, isn't that it? That is just p full of power. With this it. guy will feed balls through day, all day long, not to mention Steven Gerrard. I mean, how many goals he scored at Wembley? I don't know, but it's going to be. Absolutely loads. What if I do that? We bring on the faceless man himself, a guy that yeah. you guys have just signed, KSI. Yeah, that's right, this guy. We're gonna put him in a free roll. Okay, we're gonna say, look, there's no face here, mate. Go and do your business. You're so unpredictable, we're not even gonna try and contain you. We're gonna say, go out there, express yourself, do whatever you feel you need to do. Incredible. Knowledge, strength, integrity, sitting in the middle of the park. Let's see how you guys as hashtaggers feel about that one. Because it's a pretty pretty versatile side out there, Spencer. That's something that maybe you wouldn't have expected at the beginning of the series. Well, I think what you've done is you've made what you set out to make, which is a super team, which is the best YouTube football team ever assembled. Yeah. Um, you know, of, of YouTube personalities. Is it the best football team on the day? We'll find out. Of course, Spencer, it's fresh news to you as well that Billy is not going to be in that starting lineup. There's, there's obviously an element that you wanted to play against him as well. 100%. Got it for Bill. Don't know how much he wanted to play. Um, didn't get to play last year either. I, I really, if we win, I want to know we've beaten the best. Don't, don't rule me out. I'm going to contribute from the sidelines in my team winning. So um, we're not going to use that as an excuse. That's not an excuse. There's no excuse here. Them guys on that team sheet are good enough to win that match. And um, yeah. it's part of my job as on the sidelines to make sure that happens. The discussions are pretty much over now, guys. And I think what most people are missing in all this conversation is you are all excited about playing at Wembley, being there on the day. That's incredibly exciting for you. Mate, I, I can't wait. I've said many times, you know, on the record that last year's Wembley Cup was the best day of my life. And I think this will top it. <laughs> this is our moment to take glory. Spencer's hat-trick will not happen at Wembley. Go out there, do us justice, and let's get the win. Well, a lot of different stories converge on Wembley for the Wembley Cup, the third year now. Will Spencer get his third crown, or will these guys take it off him? There's only one way to find out, and that's by playing the game. Both squads are now complete, and you'll see those in just a second. We'll then get a final word from Spencer, but the next time you see us, we'll be at the Wembley Cup. So guys, we have seen all the episodes in the lead up to the Wembley Cup final. Next time you see us all, we'll be on the hallowed turf of Wembley Stadium. Saturday, the 7th of October, 3 p.m. kickoff. You need to be there. If you can make it, make it. Click the i button, get some tickets, or check out the links in the description. It's gonna be an unbelievable game, guys. 
quite simply, the biggest football match in YouTube history. The F2 super team is looking deadly. Hashtag United have been training for this for a long time. They're ready. I genuinely don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be unbelievable. And we're going to raise some money for a good cause. Two pound from every ticket goes to sport relief. And let's not forget about the legends. We've got some of the biggest names in ex-international football playing alongside us. They could wreak havoc against both my team and the F2 boys. And if you can't make it on the day, remember you can watch the whole match live on this channel. It's going to be unbelievable. It's not just our squads getting boosted by legends. Remember, as an EE pay as you go customer, you can power up your pay as you go with a free boost of data every month. The longer you stay, the more you get. You could even watch the Wembley Cup final with that data. Okay, so click the i button or the links in the description for more details on that fantastic offer from the legends at EE. E. Guys, drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed the series. Subscribe for more. I'll see you at Wembley. Until then, don't go changing. Don't forget to hashtag it. for the hat trick and we're gonna spoil that mate and that's that's the way it is